So we did import the file. So if we were to go back to the big data, so I've already got this imported. And if you were to click on the settings here, you should be able to look at uh, the different settings of your machine here. The name given here. Display, so currently the memory, video memory is uh, 8 meg. Storage, we've got around four disk here. The base memory, it's got around five gig. I'm gonna move it up to around 10 gig. And rest, uh, maybe I'm going to change the processor from two CPUs to maybe three CPUs. You don't have to do this. This is just, uh, I have more memory, so I'm doing it. If you don't, please don't try it. So going back to our documentation, you will see a Appliance setting gives you an overview of the configuration and the step you may need to update the location. Uh, we saw there were four separate disks. We clicked on the settings. We went through, I moved it from 5 gig to 10 gig, from 2 to 3 processors. You can update the amount of memory and CPU allocated to the machine from the system tab. Now we can go ahead and get this big data light started. So in order to do that, you highlight that if you had multiple, you would highlight the one you want to start and click start. And this would take a few minutes, uh, have patience. So as we knew, uh, this took around 10 minutes, so have patience. We are going to log in with password welcome one. And this is your virtual machine. So we've got all the software which an Exadata machine would have into this small footprint. So we can use it to to work with big data. So let's uh, start with the start here document. So the start here document gives you details about what's on this sh machine. We've already talked about this. All the software is installed. There are many hands-on labs, videos, blogs that you can help. So you can work through those if you have time. Uh, there is complementary software that you want to use that is not included in this VM. The SQL developer and data modeler. We don't need this at this time. So we are not going to use it. But for in order to, to log in as a root, this are the password, uh, so this are the credentials you're going to use for your Linux, for your Oracle database. They don't have anything for the Golden Gate, for Oracle Data Integrator, Oracle NoSQL Database, Hive, U, WebLogic, RStudio, Apache, Zeppelin, Jupyter. So Jupyter is not installed in this one. Oracle SQL Developer, Oracle Movieplex, this is what we are going to use for this lab. Cloudera Manager, I could use it, but I might not be. Oracle Special, 
and graph data, Oracle Application Express, Oracle REST data. Uh, now, as we know, because there is not enough memory on this host machine, and we are running so many different applications, so it's not possible to have them all on at the same time. So in order to, to work with uh, different software, the workaround is uh, what you generally would do is in this case, what they're showing here is you're going to work with Oracle, Zookeeper, HDFS, Hive, and Yarn. So what you could do is go and select those and click OK. So those services will be up and running. Others will be down. That way, you don't run out of memory. Uh, so a smart way of doing that. So you can use uh, up and uh, down arrows to to move here. I am using a mouse. So let's uh, start up the start stop services. Let's let's for example we want Oracle. We want to keep. HDFS, Hive, Hue, NoSQL, YAN. And so you select the services you're going to work with, say, OK. Then it, it goes through, it starts those services for you, and others would be shut down. So you... you Actually, when you're working with this uh, big data process, you're going to to process the data in chunks from one uh, application to another for the lab purposes. In real life, definitely you've got all these machines up and running, and they have to do it real time. So, so you won't, you cannot do that in um, in a virtual machine. So, you would have a machine like Exadata where you would do that. So the service is up and running. So let's go back to the documentation. We've started the services we wanted. And now there are some big data light samples which we might need for our lab. So what we need to do is uh, make sure we can refresh them. So they are being refreshed from GitHub directly. But uh, there is a word of caution. They are saying in this, chances are it might, uh, when it's doing this, it might uh, remove uh, some of the the files. So let's make a backup just to in case. In order to do that, what I'll do is I'll log into the server and I'll become root. Sam root, and uh, I believe the uh, the samples are in source. So this is the file which gets updated. So just to be on the safe side, what we'll do is we'll make a backup of this directory. So I've made a backup, so I have an extra file, source and source, uh, sorry, a directory, just in case. So we can refresh the samples by clicking on this, and it's saying, do you wish to proceed? I say yes. I'm going to say no. It's going to, con so it's, receiving objects, updating the files. Success, and it's done. So if I were to go back, go into source, 
and those files were updated, all of them. So that is it for installation. Next, we are going to start using the machine and see how we can help a movieplex.